hello and welcome in our youtube channel metallurgical facts so this is part fourth of this video series that is gate metallurgy solution or answer key for 2021 so this question is from basic metal uh, basic welding processes okay so continuous fillet weld is made of using 3000 watt uh, welding machine so this is given the power source that is 3000 watt okay so you can uh, write the unit like that joule per second also at the travel speed travel speed is given that is v that is 6 mm per second and of the weld okay so the unit energy required to melt the metal is also given that is u u is given that is 6, six joule per mm cube okay so uh, and heat transfer factor this is f1 value and this is f2 that is melting factor so this type of questions i have already done on the our instagram page so i uploaded this type of problem uh, once uh, uh, before uh, three or four months back only okay so for this type of questions you need to do you need to apply the formula like that okay so formula is f1 f2 uh, into uh, uh, into power source that is p is equals to u multiplied by area of weld into v okay so this formula i have taken from some uh, standard book so this formula is correct there is no doubt okay so you can also balance the unit for finding the area uh, uh, unit of this area here okay so this f1 f2 doesn't have any unit this power have unit that is joule per second okay is equals to that is uh, this is this is u so this u is basically the unit energy required to melt the metal so it will be in joule per mm cube okay so we need to find the unit of area so aw into velocity velocity is having unit mm per seconds okay so this mm mm will get cancelled this second where second will get cancelled this joule joule get cancelled okay so from here aw will become in in mm square so this is basically the unit balance okay and uh, uh, what we now what we need to do we will put these values these given values here in this formula and we will find this aw okay so f1 is 0 0.6 f2 is 0 0.5 power value is 3000 okay and u is also given that is 6 joule and aw is we need to find and this velocity is also given so aw will be equals to 900 by 36 so it will be equals to uh, 25 mm square okay so we need not to change the unit because we already did the unit conversion here we find that uh, all the units are correct so we need not to convert any unit because they all are given in mm per mm or in seconds also okay so this area will be equals to 25 correct answer is 25 mm square so this question is from mathematics so the divergence of the vector field so they are asking for the divergence of the vector field v x y z where its three component vx vy vz are function of x y z okay so they are asking for uh, for the divergence value okay so you can find like that okay so uh, so suppose if you will uh, multiply two uh, if you will take the dot product of two uh, vector quantities it will uh, uh, it will not become the vector quantity okay so also this is the direct question so you can uh, check the option c that is c option is correct here okay so c part is so the next question is from polymer part if the degree of polymerization dp is given dp is given for polyethylene okay so 3000 is uh, 30000 basically okay so the average molecular weight so we need to find the average molecular weight that is mw so how to find this average molecular weight uh, while they are given the degree of polymerization this is uh, polythene so the, the formula is c2h4 means this is having uh, for one one mer uh, uh, for one mer this is uh, 28 okay so we need to find for the polyethylene okay so w mw will be equals to dp multiplied by this uh, uh, molecular weight for one uh, one mer of this polymer okay so that will be 28 okay so mw will be equals to 84000 okay so this is the correct answer for this question 84000 okay not 84000 this is uh, 84 into 10 power uh, 4 okay so this is in gram per moles so the next question is which one of the following element oxidize first in basic oxygen steel making so this is bof steel making basically they are talking about ld steel making so in bof steel making first uh, metal that oxidize is silicon okay so this c part is correct here for this question so the next question is also very easy that is true strain for 60 uh, 60 percent height reduction of a sample subjected to a hot forging so this is basically combination of mechanical metallurgy and this manufacturing process so you can see that in gate 2021 there so this height reduction is given so so you can find that is r is given that is 60 percent or you can uh, take in points that is 0 0.60 so how to find the true strain that is epsilon ln of 1 minus 1 by r 
okay so epsilon is equals to ln 1 minus so this formula is also valid for area in terms of area and in terms of height also okay so 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 0 0.60 that will be equals to ln of uh, 1 by 0 0.40 okay so from here we will find ln of uh, 2. Uh, 2.50 okay so from here we will get 0.916 okay so this point uh, 0.916 is the correct answer for this question